Hello friends, today we are going to learn the lazy loading technique uh, by using the SD web image uh, library. Uh, the lazy loading is you know very common these days and uh, many other apps are using it like Facebook and all. We are in a table when we are scrolling and uh, we used to you know uh, get the images lazily loaded with a placeholder image. So this is a very nice library SD web image and uh, you, write, uh, you write this on Google and you will get a github link so you can uh, you have to download this or you can make a pod uh, instance with that and you can import it to the pod uh, where you have to just write you know uh, just yeah with cocoa pods you can write this line in your pod file and uh, uh, just hit the pod install and you'll get the library so uh, i have already downloaded it and i will use it uh, by you know copy pasting by importing my complete uh, the complete folder in my project okay so let's get started for that just click on export and uh, create a new project uh, I will name is I will name it as lazy loading uh, iPhone a device iPhone uh, I'm going to save it on desktop okay now I'm going to make this view controller as point so what we need first uh, let us just quickly uh, make our UI uh, what I need I just need a table and just put the constraints here all the constraints so that the table is you know compatible with all kind of dimensions okay and just make that delegate and data source to the view control itself okay fine now I already have some array uh, an array which will uh, which consists of some objects which have some URL as a key so I just want to make this array as a table view data source array so let's make a data source array and keep it as global so basically this these are the images you're going to show it as you know uh, you're going to lazily load and show it uh, to the table view so just write go to dot h file and with the angular word bracket open table view delegate table view data source angular bracket close now we have to import the two major methods of now we have to write the two major methods of table view. Uh, first is you know ns integer table view number of rows in section and these are the counts of the data source array. Oh, I'm sorry. Count. And another one is the UI table view cell. cell for it index path so just make a cell here table view dq reusable cell I'm going to name the identifier as cell if cell double equals to nil I'm going to make the cell y table view cell a lock in it with style UI table view style let's say default and identifies again cell return cell okay everything is fine now what we have to do we have to just you know lazily load the images these images in an image view of the table view by default so now here the procedure of lazy loading begins so just import the UI uh, uh, sorry <laughs> I haven't imported the SD web image folder yet so just uh, go to the SD web master which you have downloaded from the github and just copy this folder to your project fine now import the UI image view plus web cache okay I just need a placeholder image too I have a placeholder image like no image available until and unless the image is loaded so I'm going to drag it and copy it to now 
what I have to do I will write cell dot image view set image sorry uh, st underscore set image with URL and a placeholder image so we have the placeholder image as the placeholder itself uh, I'll do that later first of all let's make a URL and its URL just make an URL and that URL will be the data source object at index index path dot pro index path dot pro and value for key and the key is URL here this is the key fine now I'm going to write this as URL and now this is the UI image image named placeholder dot p and g fine okay just <coughs> uh, let's make the height of you know the row let's make it 90 what do you say 90 fine I think so far so good everything is fine and it will run fine I'm going to show you some of the images you know first images like uh, okay I'll, I'll just run the project run once and run on 5s this this technique is used uh, in many of the apps nowadays and uh, uh, we, we can use it by using the AF networking library too but uh, you know you have to maintain a cache here and uh, SD web image uh, you know maintains a key pair with the URLs and uh, when the next time you know yeah, so these are already loaded here so I think uh, just uh, I'm going to make it and uh, make it as expect fit so that it, it may be you know easily cognizable for you to sell dot image view set content mode and UI view content mode expect fit okay it's fine I'm going to make you know just make the height of each cell you know 150 around so that you know you can see the scrolling part and all uh, yes so here we go so now uh, these images are already loaded so they will not reload again because it keeps in a key value per cache and you know if it, it, if it finds the same URL and it has an image so it will you know load it will load back so I'm going to delete this app and I'm going to run this again you know yeah no image available yeah now the images are coming yeah as we are you know uh, uh, we, are, we are you know scrolling down uh, these images are you know showing let's do it one more time to see the actual behavior what actually the lazy loading SD web image class does so we have a placeholder image here so by default the placeholder image will come until unless the complete URL is loaded so let's wait for these you know now you are going to you know they scroll and you know, they are loaded now so this is the basic library uh, where we can use the lazy loading technique and we can make you know some great apps there uh, and it keeps and when, when you run this project again it will not at all reload again because it already have in a cache so it's you know it's better to you know uh, keep something in a cache uh, and why again again you know loading it it will find the key value pair it will keep the key value pair of the URL and it will fetch the same image to you back by using this method there are some of the methods some more methods are there you know you can you can try with these you know uh, with, with the progress block and with the activity indicator image until unless you know the the image is completely downloaded and many more are there so it's, it's up to you just you know you have to try to all of them and you know they, these are very very helpful so this is all about the lazy loading technique uh, any questions are welcome and uh, 
you know any any good suggestions you know uh, to implement this technique with any better library are also welcome please you know uh, leave us a comment thank you thank you so much